In this tutorial, I will show you how to add an announcement and show some of the features that are available. So if you click Announcements, then you can click Add. And here you can give it a title. And then you can come down into this text editor and add some body text. You're also given a lot of tools at the top for your text editor, including bold, italics, underline, strike through, and one very important tool is the paste from Word, which allows you to paste text that you had put into Word into this text editor and strip all the weird formatting that Word kind of just puts on the text. So if you'll click OK, that shows up in your text box. And also you have the option to make a hyperlink. So if you highlight the text and click insert slash edit link, you can create a link for a URL, your email, or a link within the text. We will click browse server though. This will allow us to select documents from within Sakai and link within the announcement. So if you click documents, select this, and click OK. That is now a hyperlink that can be clicked and it will take you to that specific document. Also, you can limit the access for this announcement and it can go to only members of the site. It can be publicly viewable or you can display it to selected groups only. And here you can select the different group that the announcement should go to and you can also add attachments by clicking add attachments, upload a local file, or you can select from your resources. You can also change to whether you like an email notification sent to your participants, whether it be to all participants or to the ones that have not opted out or no email at all. When you're done, you can click Add Announcement, and you'll see that it has been added to the list.